Ever stared at a blank canvas, a blank page, or a blank stare from your boss asking, where's that report? And felt the creative spark sputter out like a soggy firework? Fear not, my fellow floundering friends, for tonight we delve into the wisdom of Rick Rubin, the man who's coaxed more soul-stirring tunes out of artists than a karaoke bar on tequila night. His new book, The Creative Act, isn't just about music, though there's enough Jay-Z and Adele stories to fill a bathtub with platinum records. It's about unlocking the creative beast within you. Think of it as a magic mushroom trip for your artistic spirit, but without the nausea, mostly. Get ready to ditch the creative blocks and grab your metaphorical chisel because we're about to sculpt some mind-blowing takeaways. Creativity isn't a rare diamond, it's a pebble in your pocket. We all got it, from the baker crafting artisanal sourdough to the accountant doodling accounting dragons. Forget the finish line, savor the journey. It's about exploration, baby. Embrace the detours, the wrong notes, the happy accidents that make your creation uniquely yours. So, buckle up, channel your inner artist, even if it's just stick figures and macaroni necklaces, and let's dive into the creative act. We'll be uncovering hidden talents, unleashing artistic avalanches, and maybe even writing a hit song about the existential dread of laundry day. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Beyonce after these three takeaways. One, ditch the spark, embrace the flame, Creativity as a lifestyle, not a lightning bolt. Forget waiting for inspiration to electrocute you like a rogue toaster. Ruben says creativity is a fire you can stoke every day, a constant simmer waiting to boil over into something brilliant. It's not about waiting for the muse to strike, it's about building a life that attracts and nurtures her like a hummingbird feeder filled with sweet creative nectar. So how do we become walking lighthouses for artistic expression? We become question marks with legs. Curiosity is your fuel. Ask why about everything, from the barista's funky hair to the way raindrops whisper on leaves. Be a sponge, soaking up new experiences and perspectives. The world is your art supply store, bursting with inspiration just waiting to be discovered. Put on your fresh eyeglasses. Ditch the autopilot, folks. Look at the familiar with fresh eyes. See the ordinary as a canvas for your imagination. Find beauty in the cracks of the sidewalk, poetry in the rumble of a passing train. The everyday holds extraordinary potential if you know where to look. Become a never-ending student. Learning isn't just for classrooms. Devour books like pizza, podcasts like candy, documentaries like Netflix binges, learn new skills, pick up instruments, explore unfamiliar art forms. Every bit of knowledge adds fuel to your creative fire, expanding your artistic toolbox and opening doors to unexpected masterpieces. This isn't about forcing creativity or straining for some grand masterpiece. It's about creating a life that invites creativity to be your dance partner at every turn. Cultivate curiosity, embrace the unfamiliar, and see the world as a playground for your imagination. Then, watch the creative flames start to flicker, grow, and eventually engulf you in a blaze of pure artistic expression. Remember, you don't need a stroke of genius to be creative. You just need a spark of curiosity and a willingness to embrace the journey. And with Ruben's wisdom as your guide, you might just find yourself setting the world on fire with your own unique artistic flame. Two. Forget the finish line, savor the journey. Sure, the finish line might be tempting, a shiny mirage in the creative desert. But Rick Rubin whispers a wise secret. The real treasure lies in the journey itself, in the winding paths, the wrong turns that lead to breathtaking vistas, and the happy accidents that become brush strokes of pure artistic gold. Think of it like a hike. You set off with a general destination in mind, but the magic unfolds in the exploration, not just reaching the peak. Here's how to savor the creative journey and mine beauty from the unexpected. Celebrate the wrong notes. They're not mistakes, they're improvisations in disguise. That unexpected chord in a song might ignite a new melody. That clumsy line in a poem might spark a deeper truth. See these bumps in the road as opportunities to explore to take a creative detour that might lead you to an undiscovered oasis of artistic expression. Befriend the happy accidents. 
That spilled paint stain on your canvas might morph into a mesmerizing abstract detail. That typo in your script might birth a hilarious plot twist. Don't curse the spills and stumbles. Embrace them as serendipitous gifts, nudges from the universe towards something unexpected and brilliant. Savor the process, not just the product. Let go of the obsession with the final masterpiece. Find joy in the act of creation itself, in the rhythm of brush strokes, the flow of words, the interplay of notes. Savor the learning, the experimentation, the thrill of discovering something new with each step you take. Embrace the power of vulnerability. The raw, exposed moments, the oops and almosts, can be the most relatable and impactful parts of your creation. Sharing your journey, imperfections and all, fosters genuine connection with your audience, reminding them that the path to greatness is seldom paved in straight lines. Remember, the journey is not just a means to an end, it's the heart of the creative experience. Embrace the detours, celebrate the stumbles, and watch your work unfold into something unique, authentic, and deeply meaningful. You might just surprise yourself with the treasures you discover along the way. Less is more, but not in a boring way. So you've embraced the flame within mindset and you're ready to ditch the finish line for a scenic creative road trip. Now buckle up for the ultimate artistic pit stop. Less is more, but not in a boring way. It's tempting to cram your creation with bells and whistles thinking more is better. But Reuben whispers a secret. True beauty lies in stripping away the excess, the noise, the unnecessary cowbell solos. Looking at you, Blue Oyster Cult. It's about focusing on the essence, the heart of your work, letting it shine through like a diamond in the rough. Think of it like carving a statue. You chip away everything that isn't the heart of the figure, revealing the perfect form hidden beneath. Here's how to embrace less is more without sacrificing your artistic pizzazz, cut the clutter, keep the core. Ask yourself, what's the soul of this creation? Is it the raw emotion in a singer's voice? The evocative brush strokes in a painting? The hidden meaning in a poem? Hone in on that essence, remove anything that distracts and let it sing like a solo spotlight on your artistic masterpiece. Simplicity doesn't mean boring. Remember, minimalism doesn't have to be bland. Think haiku, not grocery list. Find creative ways to express your core idea with precision and impact. Sometimes less truly is more, leaving room for the viewer's imagination to fill in the blanks and connect with your work on a deeper level. Embrace negative space. Think of silence between musical notes the white space around a bold headline, the pause between the beats of a dancer's heart. Negative space isn't emptiness. It's an invitation for the audience to breathe, to engage, to participate in the creation. Use it wisely to add depth, contrast, and a touch of artistic magic. So remember, less isn't about deprivation, it's about refinement. It's about carving away the fluff to reveal the diamond within. Trust your artistic eye. Embrace the power of simplicity and watch your work transform from cluttered cacophony to a symphony of pure creative essence. Rick Rubin's wisdom boils down to this. Creativity isn't a one-hit wonder. It's a constant fire you stoke. Celebrate detours, embrace happy accidents, and strip away the fluff. Be a vulnerable volcano, not a boring brick wall. Share your true self, even the I woke up like this moments. Remember, Failures are just funny-hatted lessons. Trust the process, let go of control, and watch your unique art ignite the world. Hit that like button and subscribe for more creative adventures.